Greetings, beautiful people. Welcome to Inspirational Spotlight. Before I get into the nitty gritty about Abner Mason, I want to say that um, he is one of the few, the proud African American gay Republicans. Yeah, you heard me correctly. He's black, he's gay, and he's Republican. And to answer anyone's initial burning question, including mine's, about how, when asked, this is what Abner had to say in an interview. I think that historically the Republican Party has been the one party of limited government. So, I naturally have an inclination to support that point of view. Abner Mason was born and raised in North Carolina by, guess what, Democratic activist parents who actually were very involved in the civil rights movement. And once admitted to Harvard University, he became increasingly interested in politics and started to make connections with other gay politicals in the Boston area. Soon thereafter, he would go on to serve three years as Log Cabin's national president. And if you're not familiar with Log Cabin, Log Cabin is a national gay Republican organization. And as an openly gay African American Republican for more than several decades now, Mason is unacquainted with animosity and has stood in opposition to many of his Democratic colleagues. According to his resume on LinkedIn, he has held several governmental positions like Undersecretary and Chief of Staff for the Office of Transportation and Construction. He was Deputy General Manager for the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority, Chief Secretary, but then promoted to Chief Policy and Political Advisor for the Governor of Massachusetts. He was appointed to and served as chair on the Presidential Advisory Council on HIV and AIDS, PACA. He is founder and former executive director of AIDS Responsibility Project, an organization aimed to educate key policymakers about underserved policy populations affected by HIV and AIDS. He went from general director to CEO of a Workplace Wellness and Prevention Council of Mexico. But his greatest accomplishment might be the organization he recently founded and serves as CEO, Corporate Responsibility Partners, which helps companies design, implement, and evaluate workplace wellness programs. Abner has a long history of political involvement. He has been out since he was in college, and he's been in the front lines of HIV and AIDS fight, as well as the LGBT civil rights fight. But when asked about how his parents felt um, when he announced that he was Republican, he says his parents today think his commitment to the Republican Party is, well, pretty cool. Abner said this in an interview about his work in the community. You know what? I can leave the Republican Party and go to another place where people might embrace me and say nice things about me, but where I doubt I can really make much of a difference. Or I can stay in the Republican Party and basically be on the front lines of the gay and lesbian movement. That is where the action in terms of the battle for gay and civil rights are right now. It's within the Republican Party. You know, I will not always be embraced, but I am not looking for that from my political work. I do political work, well, to make a difference. Abner Mason, today's Inspirational Spotlight.